Do you know what the safest areas are? Downtown Calgary? Well, you may think you do, but you may be surprised. In today's video, we are gonna talk about some of the safest inner city communities, as well as some of the most crime riddled inner city communities here in Calgary. So forget what you think you know, because you might be surprised with the data that we're gonna come up with. So what do you want first, the good news or the bad news? Well, I'm kinda known as the good news YouTube real estate guy for Calgary, so why don't we start with the bad stuff and we'll finish with the good. Situated just south of 17th Avenue, beside Lower Mount Royal, is our fifth unsafest place in downtown Calgary called Cliff Bungalow. Now, with 41% of these homes built between 1961 and 1980, Cliff Bungalow, according to Census of Canada back in 2016, the average household income there was about $68,000. The most recent 90 day sold median price for Cliff Bungalow is $272,000 and the largest age group that lives there is between 25 and 35. Now this is the fifth most unsafe neighborhood that we have on our list and it's because they have a ratio of 51 crimes for every 100 people living there based on 2017 till early 2023. So that's the data that we're pulling and that we're using for all of these areas. Situated just east of McLeod Trail is our fourth place neighborhood, and that is Manchester. Well, Manchester has 32% of its dwellings all built between 2011 and 2016. So it's a newer area, and the reason is because it's mainly industrial. There's some new towers that have been built there, which potentially kind of can skew up the stats a little bit here. So 96% of the homes that are in this neighborhood are apartments in these towers, and the median sale price there is about $200,000. Now the tar largest age group that lives there is between 25 and 35, and their crime rates is 70 crimes for every 100 people since early 2017 till now. Situated right down in the middle of downtown is downtown commercial core. And downtown commercial core is a mix of downtown buildings, office buildings, and residential towers. So the average sale price or median sale price, I should say, is $304,000 for the last 90 days. Their average household income down there is $55,000 with the largest age group being about 25 to 35. And this is the third most unsafe neighborhood here in our city because it has 83 crimes for every 100 people that live there. Now in number two is a actually a beautiful community that is situated right beside Chinook Mall and it's called Meadowlark Park. Meadowlark Park only has about 645 homes inside of it, so it's a small community. However, they have an, a median price of about $655,000 and an average household income of $121,000. So it's drastically different compared to the others on this top five list. Now, the average age that's in there is around 40, 45 to 50, but you've got some lot of late 50s and a lot of over 85 individuals that live there as well. Now their crime rate, 149 crimes per 100 people that live there. And truth be told, I really believe it's because it's proximity to Chinook Center Mall, and that's all. Situated on the far west end of downtown Calgary is our number one unsafest neighborhood according to the stats that we pulled. Can you guess it? It's Sun Alta, and that's where we are today. Right here is Sun Alta. 90 day sold median price is about $203,000. The average household income in Sun Alta is about $64,000. And the largest age group here, like all the other ones downtown, are mainly 25 to 35 years old. Now, in this neighborhood, we have a staggering number of crimes per 100 people, and it's 366. Now, the thing with this on Alta too, is 71% of the households here are actually renters. So you have a large transient type demographic that is kind of just working their way through. They're not, you know, pride of ownership may not be a thing or a priority for them. And it's one of those things that is a little bit different. So one of the interesting stats that we pulled when we were doing all of this was the walk score. The average walk score for all five of these neighborhoods was 77.2, which is super, super interesting. So that means all of these areas are very walkable, 
very accessible to anyone that chooses to walk into them. So we got done with the bad ones, we got done with the worst. Now let's talk about the best neighborhoods, the safest neighborhoods in the inner city near downtown Calgary. And in number five spot is a fantastic neighborhood right off of 14th Avenue and North Mount Drive, and it's called Rosemont. Rosemont has 69% of its homes actually built before 1960. So it's a very established, big trees, beautiful area, and the average household income was nearly $100,000. The most recent 90 day sold median sale price there was about $734,000, and the largest age group was in their late 50s and early 60s. Their ratio for crimes per 100 people, man, you're gonna see a drastic difference here. 16 crimes for every 100 people, like crazy. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but the average for all of inner city is about 36 crimes per 100 people. On the banks of the Elbow River is our fourth safest neighborhood in inner city Calgary, and it's called Elbow Park. And let me tell you, this is some of the most prestigious, some of the nicest luxury homes that you're probably gonna find in the inner city part of Calgary. And rightly so, because the median sale price over the last 90 days there was 1.9 million, and their average income for the household income was just shy of $300,000. Now, the largest age group in this area is actually almost split evenly between ages between five and 25 of 17% of the population and 18% of the population between 40 and 59. So you can tell there's a lot of families that live there. And this is the fourth safe safest neighborhood in the inner city and its crime rates are 15 crimes for every 100 people. Now only two communities away from Chinook Center Mall is this community. It's crazy how the third safest is right beside one of the most unsafe communities in the same area, but that's what it is. So this community is Mayfair. Mayfair is an ultra high-end, luxurious, beautiful neighborhood where the average household income is $307,000. And over the last 90 days, the average, or sorry, the median sale price was 1.3 million. The largest age group here is a tie between those that are between the ages of 15 and 19 and those who are in their late 50s. Well, being the third safest neighborhood in the inner city comes with a low crime rate, and that is 14 crimes per 100 people. And I'm really shocked because the difference between one community that is right beside Chinook Mall and one that's one street over, you go across, think it's Elbow Drive, and all of a sudden, it's a completely different story. If you have ever walked or cycled along the paths off of Eau Claire Market and kind of down the west side of Calgary, and following the river, I should say, you have probably come by this community and maybe never even knew it was there. The second safest community in the inner city part of Calgary is a place called Point McKay. Now, Point McKay, the median sold price over the last 90 days was $526,000. The household income was about $91,000. And the average age group, the largest age group there, was actually between the ages of 60 and 65. So what a lot of people do is they downsize into townhomes or condos because most of this community is made up of that. And this is kind of where they downsize. I mean, who wouldn't want to live right beside the river here and have incredible walking paths and access to the river? Now, the ultra low ratio of crime rates that they have is only eight crimes per 100 people. And what's really interesting is even though this is one of probably I would say one of the best communities for location for walking paths, it actually has a fairly low walking score because you can't just do your daily chores here. And that is a little bit of a hint for all of these five top communities in the inner city Calgary. Nestled on the east side of Altador is a tiny little community that literally looks like it's a part of Altador, but it's not. This is called Garrison Woods. And Garrison Woods is actually the safest inner city community that is near downtown Calgary. Its median home price over the last 90 days was $581,000. Their average household income is $164,000. The largest age group is 30 to 45. And let me tell you, they only have four crimes per 100 people that live there. What's really interesting is when we pulled that walk score 
average it out for these top five communities, again, they have a very low walking score compared to the worst five, which have a very high. The average for these guys, all five of these ones, is 38.8, which is a really low walking score. So does that say something about safety when it comes to people who can just easily walk into your community versus driving in? I don't know. I don't know what that is. What do you think it is? Comment below. And if you like this video, you might be looking for a townhouse. So head over here and see if you can find the perfect townhouse for you in Calgary.